me with the correspondence, and he says, I can't come, there's a death in the family. And I said, who died? And he said, the computer. <laughs> Go vegan, folks. Be blameless. Be harmless. As children of God, without blemish. The teacher said, draw a picture of the nativity scene. And the little girl brought up her picture, and the teacher said, oh, this is great. Oh, there's Jesus, there's Joseph, there's Mary. What's this little stand with the box in the corner? That's their computer. <laughs> Begin and stop this. Cut. Five. Four. Three, two, go vegan and stop this wicked and perverse cruelty to animals. That was take two. Okay, shut off the camera. Three, two, go vegan! The teacher said, draw a picture of the nativity scene. And the little girl brought up her picture, and the teacher said, oh, this is great. Oh, there's Jesus, there's Joseph, there's Mary. What's this little stand with the box in the corner? That's their computer. <laughs> by our next performer who had the, <coughs> the, had the longest Two. Go vegan, folks. 91 years old, no doctors, no medicine. Three. Two. Go vegan, folks. Be blameless. Be harmless. As children of God, without blemish. Three, two, go vegan and stop this. Cut. Five, four, three, two, 
go vegan and stop this wicked and perverse cruelty to animals. That was take two. Okay. Shut off the camera. Three, two, go vegan! Turn off the magnifier. Three, two, go vegan! Three, two, go vegan! There's a good hymn on that. You have to change the words around to get the right meaning, but... Take this life and let it be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee. Take these hours and these days Let them flow in ceaseless praise. Now, we will take our formula, God, Jesus, and helping others are synonymous, and we will plug in the words that we can understand. Take this life and let it be consecrated to helping others. Take these moments and these days, let them flow in helping others. This idea of praising God, I don't, uh, well, if you look at it this way, it makes sense. Yes, 
You praise the universe for the laws of motion. You praise the universe for the first law of thermodynamics, the second law of thermodynamics. For E equal mc squared, for F equal ma, for the gravitational force equals a gravitational concert times body one and body two divided by the square of the distance between them. For Newton, that he understood the law of universal gravitation not to apply just to the planets, as Kepler had helped us with, but to apply to every set of, of every two objects on the earth. And for how he saw motion, it's uniform motion in one direction, or just a ball sitting on a table, just uniform motion. And all other motion was acceleration. Any change in distance any change in direction is acceleration. And he found the formula for that. A force is something that accelerates a mass. F equal ma. The first law I've done it thermodynamics is that energy is conserved. Energy just changes form. It's never wasted, it's never dissipated, it just changes form. The second law of thermodynamics says that everything goes from a state of order to a state of disorder. A cup of tea on the table. Hot tea. It's going to even out and become the same, the same temperature, room temperature. Now there's a lot of things to say about the second law of thermodynamics, but some people are depressed by it that the universe will constantly go in a state of disorder, order, such as a hiccup. Uh, and how long will the universe last? Well, the universe has a tremendous amount of energy. Take E equal mc squared. C is a pretty big number, 186,000 miles per second. And you square that, woo, multiply it by itself, wow. And we found out that a little bit of mass makes a tremendous amount of energy, and we found that out in the atomic bomb. But there's so many atoms in the universe, and they're full of energy and all that. So it'll be a long time before the universe is going to total disorder. But there's something very good about it, I think, that I don't hear other people saying. And that is, uh, if everything didn't go into disorder, then everything would stay in order and then we wouldn't have anything to do. We wouldn't have anything to create to keep us busy. And we are reflections of the grand creation. We love to create. We love to create, 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 create. There's a TV station called Create, San Jose. Create TV. Okay. 
This is August 19th, 2019, Anno Domini, the year of our Lord. I should have written them down, the things that went through my mind, so-called, to tell you and to discuss with you and to get your opinion. I want to reflect your opinion. I want to reflect your opinion. Okay. Now I have to take that disclaimer that I just made. Uh, formally, I would write it on the character generator and it would be written as a white letters on black. But I can't see to write anymore and I can't see to write on the character generator anymore. So I said it orally. And in the state of New York, an oral contract is as valid as a written contract. Okay, I'll have to take this disclaimer now and go over and put four DVDs into the DVD recorders. Uh, record the disclaimer on Staten, but not on the other three stations in the DVD recorders. And put it on pause record so that it won't make a separate chapter because Staten Island plays the 30-second disclaimer and thinks that's the end of the program. It can't find the rest of the program, which is 28 minutes. So then we make sure the program, 28-minute program, is all queued up. And then we press the record button and it records all four of them. And at 28 minutes, we stop. We put Staten Island on pause record. We're going to have to put them all on pause record. We cannot, it's too complicated to deal with them individually. We'll put them all on pause record. Then we'll take out the program disk that's has a program on it, and then we'll put the uh, disclaimer disc in that says produce using the facilities of Staten Island Community TV, copyright 2019. Then we will finalize all four of them, wrap them in paper and label them, and Put them over here on the auxiliary desk, the ancillary desk, for December, January. December, January? This is only August. With 73 TV stations, one person in Happy House 3 with our associates those DVD recorders, monitors, electrons, remote control. That's all we have to make something like 400 programs every two months. So in August you have to do December, January, October, November are all done. August, September are on the TV stations right now, playing now. So that's how far ahead you have to work. Jokes? I'm copying the joke collection. It's huge. The joke collection is huge. It covers a period of 19, since the 1980s. What's that, 30 years? 40 years? Let's see if I can find you some jokes. 
A man said he was so ugly as a boy that when he threatened his parents that he was going to run away from home, his dad said, put it in writing. And he was so ugly as a boy that when the other kids played hide and seek, he would hide, but nobody would see him. Okay. Position is everything in life. Joanne has a special exercise. It's called aerobic spending. Today's Christmas presents are tomorrow's garage sales. Lot in the Bible in Genesis was told to take his wife and flee out of the city. The little girl wanted to know what happened to the fleet. I think you got that. Lot was told to take his wife and flee out of the city. Sunday school teacher trying to get the children to realize that cleanliness is next to godliness said, cleanliness is next to what? And the boy said, impossible. Why does the housewife like the windows on her computer? They don't have to be washed. Two monks were in a monastery arguing as to which one was more humble. Why did the minister have to wear dark glasses when he delivered his sermon from the pulpit? His congregation was so bright. Did you hear about the minister who was so religious that even his contact lenses were stained glass? What pencil is too long to take to school? Pennsylvania. Why did the raspberry have to go see the high school psychologist? He was in a jam. What kind of a school has to have an elevator? Uh, you got that, I'm sure. High school. A uh, Seventh-day Adventist minister told about living in the Bronx and he got up very early and he walked seven blocks to the elevated and then he had to walk ten blocks to the subway and then when he got off the subway he had to walk five blocks to the church. Then he prospered and he got an automobile 
and he was always late to church ever since. When he was doing that long trek, he always got to church on time, but after he got the automobile, he was always late. Why was the teacher angry at the owl? He didn't give a hoot. I went to see some friends and they lived in this long, long row of apartments. Every door was the same. And I wasn't sure which door was there. And I was standing knocking on the door, about in the middle. And a woman way down at the other end said, you're locked. You're knocking on the laundry room door. A little boy and a little girl were watching a video on the birth of Christ. And the little boy says, what is a virgin? And the little girl says, a virgin is a woman who eats all of her vegetables. A minister and his wife, Methodist minister and his wife, came home from a Christmas service. There had been quite a few Christmas services, five or six. And she flopped down on the chair and she says, I'm exhausted. He says, you're exhausted. I had to write five sermons and deliver five sermons. She said, I had to listen to them. Maybe this, <laughs> maybe this uh, illustrates the second law of thermodynamics, everything going from order to disorder. A man was in the church and he listened to the sermon and in the middle of the sermon he got up and he left. Then he came back to church and sat down again. Well, where did you go? I want to get a haircut. Why didn't you get it before you came to church? I didn't need it then. Okay, that's all. I have a, uh, that's enough. I have a question for you. This is not a joke. Why don't doctors go to the patients of their funerals? Go to the funerals of their patients. Why don't doctors go to the funerals of their patients? I've gone to several funerals and I've never seen the doctor there. Okie doke, folks. Take our lives and let them be consecrated to helping others. Take our moments and our days. Let them flow in ceaseless helping others. Now, benediction. Benediction. Leave you with a well saying. That we, 
B. Blameless and harmless children of God without blemish that we stop this wicked and perverse cruelty to animals and that we shine our light to the world. Look at this, friends. That is a show for the first week of October, another for the second week of October, another for the third week of October, and a fourth for the fourth week of October. And that's for 20 two television stations. One of them is for 16 television stations. So I guess you could say it's 36 and that's half of the 73 on DVD discs for October, November. What? What date is it now? August 23rd? When do you mail these? The third week of September. Why are you ahead? I have to show, uh, we have to show, we have to prove that we are capable of supplying 36 TV stations with four new shows in October to be repeated in November. And they mustn't be at the last minute. How many hours were you doing this? Oh, let's count it by days. The last mailing was the third week of July. It would be the odd month, the seventh month. This mailing is for the ninth month, September. Okay, from July to August. I would say from July 3rd week to August 3rd week. A month. Okay, now how many hours do you think that was? It was at least five hours a day for four TV stations. So there were, we'll say there's 20 TV stations, so that's five. Five hours, let's see, four, five hours for each TV station times 20. What's that, 100 hours? And that's just the dubbing, just the duplication. You have the making of a video you 
Yeah. 150 hours maybe. Do you get paid for this? No. Do you get paid $50 a day for this? No. Do you get paid anything? No. Do you get any presents? No. Just the universe and its glory and the 24-hour day the Earth's rotation, the spin of the Earth, those gifts, the friendship gifts with you. You do this all volunteer? Yes, for 48 years. 73 TV stations and 12,000 TV shows. Why? Because I believe in the message. No self, helping others, oneness, all of us together, all of us together, the friendship, the cooperation, the working together, because I believe in that, because I believe that we shall stop this wicked and perverse cruelty to animals. I believe that we shall be blameless and harmless, children of God, without blemish, shining our light on the world. Because I believe that after all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did you treat others. And I believe in getting that message out. It's the message. It's the greatest message in all public access television. The greatest message in all broadcast television are the 30-second vegan commercials to help the animals, which have cost approximately $53,000. And there's been approximately 273 plus maybe 100, 373 30-second ads. And how many commercials made? How many videos? A hundred and I guess it would be a hundred and ten.